Asia is home to one of the earliest human settlements and an important cradle of human civilizations. This vast and beautiful continent covers a third of the Earth's land mass and has two thirds of the world's population. It has more than 1,000 ethnic groups living in 47 countries. For several thousand years before the Common Era, our forefathers living along the Tigris and the Euphrates, the Hindus and the Ganges, the Yellow River and the Yangtze, tilled and irrigated the land, made tools and utensils, and built homes to live in. Generation after generation, our ancestors in Asia, with their tireless endeavors, created a time-honored history and profound and rich civilizations. Our vast and fertile plains, beautiful river basins, large steppes, immense deserts, mighty rivers and oceans, and lofty mountains have nourished and enriched diverse and colorful civilizations across Asia. In building our civilizations over the course of several millennia, we, the people of Asia, have made splendid achievements. I think of literary classics such as the Book of Songs, the Analects of Confucius, the Talmud, One Thousand and One Nights, the Rig Veda, and the Jengi Monogatari. I think of uh, inventions such as the cuneiform script, maps, glass, Arabic numerals, paper making, and printing techniques, and of majestic structures like the Great Wall, the Great Mosque of Mecca, Taj Mahal, and Angkor Wat. They're all invaluable assets of human, life, human civilization. Through interactions on this continent, Asian civilizations have enriched each other and written an epic of development. Our forefathers in Asia have long engaged in inter-civilizational exchanges and mutual learning. The ancient trade routes, notably the Silk Road, the Tea Road, and the Spice Road brought silk, tea, porcelain, spices, paintings and sculpture to all corners of Asia. And they have witnessed inter-civilizational dialogue in the form of trade and cultural interflow. Today, the Belt and Road Initiative, together with the Two Corridors and One Belt, the Eurasian Economic Union and other initiatives have greatly expanded intercivilizational exchanges and mutual learning. Cooperation among nations in science, technology, education, culture, health and people-to-people -people exchanges are thriving like never before. Thanks to exchanges and mutual learning among themselves and with other civilizations in the world, Asian civilizations have grown from strength to strength. The great Asian civilizations have a special place in the annals of world civilizations. And the Asian civilizations have added to the diversity of human civilizations. Think of what Asia stands to offer in terms of religion, philosophy, ethnic code, law, literature, painting, drama, music, 
and even the building of towns and villages. They speak volumes for Asia's profound and proud achievements. Extensive systems of uh, social customs, immortal classics that have endured for millennia, the fine pool of exquisite art and diverse institutions, among others. All these offer rich choices for civilizations the world over to draw on. As we review our past and look beyond Asia, we should have greater confidence in our civilizations. We may build on the rich heritage of our forefathers, stay engaged with other civilizations and increase mutual learning. By doing so, we will add new glory to ancient civilizations.